Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to this channel. My name is Marco Jack. Today I'll be doing a little 2023 reading for you. I'm just channeling the message that the universe have for you to have the most wonderful 2023 for you to break through in your personal growth to help you smash your purpose journey, etc. All that good stuff. So let's get into this video. Today I'll be using this deck, Akashic Record deck i absolutely love this deck every time i do a reading with it i get really good messages so it's actually recommended in this deck to do some reading for other people share the love share the impact share the insights basically what i want you to do is just take a moment look through each item right we got a crystal we got a buddha and we got a singing bowl here and just feel which one resonates with you the most because later on there would be messages from each of the item and each item would have its own vibration and i just want you to sense which one would resonate with you the most okay so just take a moment if you need to pause this video pause this video you good let's get into it all right what's up group one so you pick this beautiful crystal we're gonna put it aside and let's just get right into the first reading of this video i like to smell a little bit all right okay cool just hit it a little bit get that previous energy out of the way so i just want to ask okay for the people that chose group one what is a message for you to have the best year possible in 2023 oops okay there's two cards that came up. I'll choose one more. So those two popped up. Interesting. This one popped up as well. Cool. So group one, I got, I got this birth. That was upside down. I got caught in the ruins. That was also upside down. And I got the last one, I got four scrolls, the karmic trenches, which was faced up. So what I like to do is just kind of look at it and see if I can see a story here I see a sense of rebirth for you in 2023. There might be someone that would go along with you in this journey. Someone that is kind of maybe you'll be going home. You'll be something that you'll be returning somewhere or back to your own place. A sense of family will happen. And however, there's also some sort of caught in the ruins like maybe something would happen that is not really good for you you might need some counseling um to help you kind of get through this moment but at the end you know it's sort of it's okay because you're gonna be back into the trenches back into the back into the farm kind of sowing some good seeds again and since you're home you will be in a nice little sanctuary place so all three cards that i'm seeing here right right now so far has a like nature vibe to it so i think that would be a good place that you will be in somewhere safe so this is actually just me not knowing what the cards are you know because they're at this deck you know um there's so many different cards i haven't picked these cards these are super unique cards so i might just like be bullshitting bullshitting from my way but i'm just kind of like <laughs> just having fun and interpreting in my own way right but let me kind of turn to the guide and read what the book says and let's interpret a second time through the guide now so with this card reverse you may find challenges or delays with pregnancy or romance there may be also some difficulties for one of your children or between you and your child 
It could be possible that a child may leaving for college or going away, feelings of loveness or unfulfilled desire for home and family may be present as well. Be strong and tap into the boundless love within. It's a force that be, that can change everything. Yeah, so it's kind of going home or unfulfilled desire for home might be there. And some birth reverses indicates a difficulty in finding your purpose, which requires invest investigating now. You might be surprised to find clues about your future purpose by looking into your past and even your past lives. Keep looking and don't be dismayed. Your new purpose is waiting to be born. Okay, so it's talking about kind of going back, taking a moment, kind of going within to find your purpose. And finally, this, this card reverse could also show a delay with other b new beginnings such as new jobs or creative projects. In some cases, it's simply that an external opportunity has not presented itself yet. It could also signal that you must work harder and gather your courage to take the first step. Still, this reversal doesn't mean an end to your new start. It just might mean that you need to find a new way to go about things. So seems like the first card signals a rebirth in some way not just in a physical setting but also your life a restart in finding a new purpose trying out different ways burning old habits that might not serve you you might miss your family it might be a good time to go hang out with your family go hang out with your sibling go back to nature go back to your sanctuary place go back to a place where you feel comfortable to kind of find your purpose again this might be the first quarter or first chapter of 2023 for you so this is the first card okay so let's go to 16 caught in the runes this was also a ver reverse card let's see reversed a horrible dark or confining situation is coming to an end You've discovered that you can break free from self-imposed limits. Now you've escaped and you're starting to put the prison of past history and beliefs behind you. It's time to move into the green growth and harvest what your new efforts and procreate. Be sure to stay the course. The old histories have a tendency to pull you back. If you start to slip, catch yourself, recreate the new thoughts and actions of the new you you've stepped into your power and it's yours forever so it seems like the second phase of your 2023 might be after you worked on yourself a little bit you worked on your old belief systems then you've you're able to br have a little breakthrough you're able to put something that has been hindering you in the past and you're able to kind of have a fresh new start but it's also telling you to be be careful not to step back into the old habits and to really solidify with new habits, new changes, new systems, new surroundings, new support systems around you to help you solidify that growth, help you internalize that growth, and not just to have a aha moment from a breakthrough and slip back to the old past. So seems like the second half of your 2023 there is some new light coming through uh and some breakthroughs coming through so that's really really positive so let's see the third card which is the four of scrolls four of scrolls the karmic trench upright in a field meant to be planted a man dirty from his efforts stands knee deep inside a long trench. The seeds wait to be planted, yet he continues to deep, dig deeper and deeper. There are other rows plowed and ready for planting, but they are ignored. This card reveals a difficult, difficult pattern in your life, a pattern of self-defeating feelings, thoughts and actions that you've brought forward from previous incarnations. You return to, to this life with the intention of breaking this karmic pattern, but you got pulled into old thoughts and behaviors. You've been digging yourself deeper into a karmic trend that gets harder and harder to escape. 
This pattern is not unknown to you. You've recognized it in your relationship, in your jobs, and certainly in your beliefs, behaviors, and responses. It's time to take charge of your karma by altering the inner ideas, feelings, and pattern that has caused you to make self-sabotaging choices. Every time you notice yourself making an old choice that digs you deeper into your karmic trench, you can change your mind and your actions. This will require a conscious effort to step away. Without such work, your life could go. Times burying yourself in the same feelings, but with your commitment to making changes every day, you can dig yourself out of it. So it seems like this card is reinforcing the message from this card. So I think it's not saying that this will happen, but what I'm saying that this is a very important reminder to not go back once you take the time to work on your breakthroughs you will have your breakthroughs but don't go back to your old habits just be very conscious of making new habits don't kind of go back into your vices right maybe it's alcohol maybe it's drugs maybe it's escaping maybe it's avoiding something maybe it's sex maybe it's uh friends that haven't been serving you anymore and you know that maybe it's that relationship or maybe it's that job that that doesn't serve you right maybe it is limiting beliefs or things that cause your vibe to go down make sure that you don't go back because it feels comfortable i think this is saying that one once you're able to break through that right just have the courage have the consciousness have the systems to make sure that you don't go back to that so i think that's what it's saying the karmic trench let me feel this a little bit more let me just look at this card a little bit more i think in this card right what i'm seeing is also a man just looking down and he's very focused on the very micro maybe it's signaling that just don't focus on what is absolutely going wrong or don't be so micro focused on the situation just kind of looping yourself in that cycle have some perspective create that space for perspective to zoom out to look beyond your habitual patterns maybe traveling might be good for you maybe talking to someone reading a new book get into a new environment so we're not super zoomed into one specific thing so that you're able to have that breakthrough and have that new system that is able to help you solidify that growth so i think that's the overall message um i hope it was resonated for you so overall i think there are some nice breakthroughs coming out for you but there's also some work that you got to do in 2023 to really realize that growth and help you make that solidify internalized change but hey good luck to you my man my girl you got this shit so hey thank you so much for group number one's reading Whoop. hey what's up beautiful people you chose this beautiful singing bowl let's hear it real quick beautiful sounds so excuse the ambulance it's still covid season here in macau it's breaking out it's crazy but group number two let's see what messages that your guides your spirit the universe the god has for you to help you become your greatest version okay so let me just kind of repeat that inside Oops, okay, this one popped out. I'm feeling this one, I'm feeling this one. Oh, wow. Wow, this was crazy. Initially, this card, I saw it, but I didn't pick it up, and then I pull it again, and it was this card again, so that's crazy. All right, so, one more. I got a bunch but let's just pick the first one here okay cool so hey sometimes it's just that random i just gotta trust that the card fall down that it is 
uh, what the message is for you to help guide you to your highest good. So I got all three cards facing up. Let's just go by one by one. The first one, Hilarion. And I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right. Actually, there's so many new decks. Um, I mean, in this deck, I mean, there's so many new cards I haven't pulled out before, uh, even with this one. Um, it's funny that sometimes when I do reading for myself, the the cards that I get are, are more kind of often, right? So the first one, let's just see what I'm feeling. Interesting enough, there's a lot of spirits in this deck. So even the first one, what I'm picking up is there's, there's spirits in this picture. There's the second one, there's also spirits in this. And one of keys the architect it's going back to the you know egyptian days which is a kind of spiritual civilization as well so let's see let me feel a little bit more so i'm seeing a lot of books i'm seeing a lot of like learning i'm seeing a lot of guides a lot of inspiration um in the first two cards right there's books involved there are other people involved maybe other mentors other guides other a lot of different people are going to come and help you to help you achieve something you might be research something you might be learning something you're in the phase of absorbing knowledge so it feels like in the last part of a year then you'll be kind of getting that knowledge and to plan out something, to build something, to direct something. So that's the kind of theme that I'm getting from my own personal vibe from these cards, but I don't know if it's actually accurate. So let's go to the book and see what the message from the cards actually say. Hilarion, okay, upright. So seen here with a spirit and the Im implements of study and science discovery, Hilarion is a powerful ascendant master and wonderful connection to the front of font of information that the Akashic record holds. He is the master of research, science, truth, healing, logical mind, concrete knowledge, and spirit communication. So if you've been thinking about pursuing an endeavor in these areas, now is the time to start. Like the angels of the other masters, Hilarion is always available to you and receiving this card upright is telling you that his assistant is close at hand. If you're working on a project that requires research, a strong academic approach, and attention to detail, it's full steam ahead. It's time to open to this mastery energy if you have a job that involves any type of evidence, detection, and drawing conclusions from that discovery. These types of job include scientific research, mediumship, forensic activity, the law, medical testing, and more. These and similar activities should be on the rise for you now. This is the time to bring logical approach to all of your pursuits. Hilarion is right there with you, blessing you with the help, clarity, and direction. So, yeah, a little bit to what I said. It's not too far from the ballpark. So scientific, logical, being very rigorous in certain things. Um, so it's just a clear direction to kind of go for what you want to go for deep down and know that there are guides kind of helping you in that direction. And it's a sign that it might be a very good time to start. Indeed, it is a good time to start and just be very logical in your approach and yeah so a very clear and kind of happy message there so let's go on 22 and see if it builds a story it builds a theme around the first card so upright add some so this is the card we're talking about a candlelight cast on an open book held by a young woman sitting at a desk her eyes are drawn to the side as if she was distracted from her reading by a curious thought or someone nearby. She is surrounded by several people, many of whom are somewhat translucent and glowing. An angel bends and whispers, at some I arrive, I'm here, I attend you. At some is a single word that has many, many meanings 
First, it affirms your own strength and focus in the present. You can use it as a command word whenever you find yourself distracted from what's at hand. A sum, I'm here, and I feel yourself attend to the situation or the person before you. This word also declares your arrival at your goals and all your wishes coming true. Say at sum, I've arrived, and take a moment to see yourself reaching your goals absolutely. Whenever you get this card, know that you're on your way to the result you are seeking with the help of others and glorious help of spirit. This card is also a reminder to be assured that no matter what's happening in your life, spirit is always there for you. They reach out to you sharing their light and power, serving you in every way, from the highest to least, from the grandma to the divine. An internal community attends you, say a sum, and take some time to attend to them. You can act on your promise to God as spirit lifts you upon their shoulders. So, you're, you are present for each other and together you arrive at your dreams. So, what I'm getting from this card is that visualize your success, ask for help, and be present in the moment to slowly chip away from your goals so these two cards are very very pro positive you know it seems like in the first half of your year a first good chunk you're just in this mode of learning absorbing chipping away being present in the moment visualizing your success visualizing the life that you want being very logical you know at the same time you know don't forget the spiritual aspect of things don't, for, don't forget your purpose of why you're doing it. So you're working in the micro very diligently, but at the same time, you're also connected to your heart. You're also connected to the divine, the spirit, your purpose, the vision, the vision of why you're working so hard in this path. So that's the kind of message that I'm getting from, from the first two cards. So let's see the last one with the ones of keys right here. Ones of keys. Okay, let's read that. Architect. A man and woman in rich Egypt dress stand at a table filled with structural drawings and measuring utensil. He is the architect of all the survey and he points to an unseen building in this expansive project. Throughout the scene, many workers toil on the foundations. At a mundane level, you can find yourself involved in building a project or renovating or re decorating your home or workplace most importantly this card shows that it's time for you to step into the position of power and in order to do that you must recognize your talents and strength as well as your authority to take a charge an opportunity beckons that utilizes your skills perfectly feel the command you have over the greatness scope of the situation and take charge wow very cool so really kind of to my intuition when my first glance it, it does seems like in the in the last part of your year right you're there to with all the hard work that you've put it in your research in your dedication into your craft into learning into staying present there will be an opportunity for you to utilize that to implement that and what this card is kind of telling you is to grow to that situation, to be empowered, and to trust yourself that you can take command over that situation, that you have an authority over that situation, that you have that greatness in that situation that you can trust yourself to utilize the skills and knowledge that you have within. So this is about, I think, I think this card is also about self-empowerment, self-belief, crushing your self-doubt and to have a paradigm shift the first half of the year seems kind of yin energy that you're there to nurture and grow and to somewhat heal and recover almost and in the last part in the second part right it's about yang that yang energy to create to impose yourself into willfully create something so that's the theme that's the message that's a, that's a direction i have for you group number two i hope that this message resonates with you and i hope you have a beautiful year
namaste. Thank you for watching. If you feel the vibe, please subscribe. All right, last group, group number three. So we got beautiful Buddha right here. That's what you've chosen. Let's put it right here. Okay, group number three. <sighs> Let me just connect within. Get that previous energy out here. Let it see the sun a little bit. Sorry, I'm just being a little silly, but let's see what your spirit guides have for you to help you have the most serving, most beneficial year of 2023. What are some of the messages that you need to know to have the best year possible for a highest good? Group number three. Let's do it. Right here. Let's pick one more. Come on. Okay. We got three cards ready. Let's open them up. All right. We got a very interesting theme. So it's very funny how the first group and second group also had a theme. Here I'm also seeing some theme. It's a flower. It's a flowery theme. Um, the first group have a lot of farm land going on, and here all three cards had leaves and flower some flowers. And the previous one, it was a lot of books and a lot of spirits. So very interesting. So the first one, I got the light of the world. And the, the second one, I got the muse. And the last one, I got the king of scrolls. So, sorry about the, uh, the beep, 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 if you can hear it. I'm sitting outside in the balcony. So, in the light of the world, it seems like, you know, some very important person or some sort of mentor figure could come into your life. And there to help you with something that is bring some light into your world and there would be some sort of like as you can see in this card i don't know if you can see it there is a little light bubble and funny enough that in the second card seems like you, there's also another light bubble but this time it's it's on you uh it seems like the gift that this person would share would kind of activate you to be in the muse to feel the flow to feel the creativity the sense of joy it's a, it, i'm feeling it as though a very creative energy a very flowy energy a very lovely energy wavy energy of sort right and very expansive is what i'm feeling from the arrival of this mentor in the first half of your 2023 and lastly the king of scrolls i think he's after that i think he's a little bit more meticulous he's a little bit more reserved he's a little bit more didactic he's a little bit more organized or he's he's planning a little bit more he's he's thinking a little bit more so i feel like it's that maturity from feeling that creative phase to then being a little bit more organized in whatever you have to do to plan the next steps ahead is kind of like what i'm feeling in your next year so that's just me kind of sensing the cards i might not be correct so let's kind of go to the guidebook and see what it says and see if there's any alignment with my intuition feel from just seeing these cards okay so the first one the light of the world upright an old sage holds a glowing lantern and knocks on a door with no latch a young man inside is too distracted to answer the knock your divine being your divine being is trying to get your attention all it takes is a moment for of your awareness to open the door okay through your life, you may be busy. The opportunity 
now presents itself for you to move into a higher awareness. It's a great time to open yourself to your higher self and all the wisdom and power it has. It's your soul, your internal being who approaches, but it's just up to you and only you to open the door. You do that by taking real and regular actions in knowing and feeling the wise and radiant being you are forever. Through meditation and study, you can own that enormous love, power, and vision. You can make every day sacred by going within. Once you do, you will know a radiant and greater power in every step and every word. You will be able to bring this magnificent force to your world, changing your life forever. Wow, okay, so this is not, so I was a bit off, right? So I was thinking about a mentor figure come into your life, but this card is talking about that you need to go into your internal world. You need to spend time to get to know yourself a little bit more. You need to spend time being open-minded in the fact that in addition to a physical world, a spiritual realm, your spiritual self, your higher self, so understand that don't be so attached to the ego be more open to explore different things maybe it's going to a meditation retreat maybe it's talking to a friend who is more spiritual and understanding their concept without shutting down that concept with your full logical mind maybe it is you know trying some psychedelics and going really deep within maybe it's you know letting listening to some podcasts or watching on Netflix of like change how to change your mind or understand maybe DMT or maybe I'm going a little bit too far but I think the point here is that just go within maybe there's things that you gotta heal maybe there there are things that you've been put off by certain very voodoo or very how do you say non-practical beliefs but it's also a time to get to know yourself a little bit on a deeper level that you might not otherwise tried before. So I think that's what it's talking about a little bit, but obviously you can interpret the message in your own way. So this is the light of the world, right? So there's things, maybe try praying, right? Try, uh, if why not just try praying or just be open mind with the fact, have some faith around it. I remember one time I read a book called Ask and It's Given. I uh, read another book. It's called about like, you know, praying is like ordering and without you ordering, the waiter will not bring in the food. So just try ordering something and see if it happens or try opening up that connection. Right now we got the card, the muse. So let's see what this card has to say. 15, the muse. The muse plays a song of upliftment and imagination. The petals of inspiration drift upon the wind, filling the air with light and creativity. This card shows a time of very heightened resourcefulness and intentiveness for you. Any creative project, new or old, can receive exceptional energy now, both from you and from the universe. Call to the spirit muses, let them join you and the creator within to lift your project to the skies. So, okay, interesting. So. I'm not sure if the muse is conditional of you opening up to the light of the world. It might be. It might be once you are able to feel the connection to the divine, feel the connection to your higher self, to kind of be the best version of yourself, not put yourself down too much, to trust yourself a little bit more, to maybe slow down a little bit more as well to really feel what you really want. And by that empowerment, you're able to open up yourself to the flow, open up yourself to the imagination, to the inspiration, to do things that otherwise you wouldn't be able to do because maybe you're in that stuck mundane routine. But once you open that door, once you allow that light to come in maybe you'll be in this phase where you feel the muse and you feel like things are quite magical right you feel the sense of magic in the world the fact that wow there are billions and billions of stars in the world the fact that we came from something so small yet so 
now an expansive universe once we kind of understand that there's so much magic in the world perhaps this is what it's talking about so lastly let's go to the king of scrolls so this is the card we're talking about king of scrolls a man holds a scroll as he look across a well-groomed garden a number of skulls lay on the garden bench next to him. He's a king of scrolls, a man of learning, and he can be helpful to you in a number of ways. This man may, may be presented in your life already. If not, you'll meet him soon someday. He may be an author, teacher, or communicator who assists you in some professional way. He could also be a friend who brings wisdom through his own studies and spiritual practices. Be open to the guidance of this man. For, for it can help you lead your life in exciting new ways and directions. As with any of the kings and queens, a king of scrolls may be also a new love interest for you and another one. Depending upon his location in the spread, his wisdom is compelling and there are likely to be many interesting and lively discussions. This card may be also represented to you or someone you know who is longing for deeper understanding and greater clarity of thought. Now is a great time to pursue new interests, perhaps even enrolling in some classes or attend a lecture or two. A position in teaching, counseling, advertising, etc. may be on the agenda now. A treasure of love and discovery is waiting for you, so let your mind and your life soar. So interesting. So in the first part of the reading of my own interpretation i feel like that will be you right once you are in the muse then you will be more of someone that is more sort of you know more rational more thinking more planning more strategic but turns out to be it, it seems like this person is the mentor in your life i thought this was the mentor that's going to come in your life but it's all it's taught about like in order for great things to happen in your life in these steps right you need to let that light in so that's the key so make sure you let that light in in your life make sure you allow new changes make sure you're open to things make sure you have a growth mindset make sure that you try new experiences and kind of put yourself out there and not be a little hermit so I think that's what it's talking about so once that light comes in right you feel the muse you'll feel the inspiration and by being in that flow, right, you attract good things in your life. You attract mentors. You attract perhaps even a loved one into your life. You attract nice courses. You attract different things to come in to help you solidify that learning to that next level. But remember, it all comes back to this first card where it's to open up yourself to new possibility and new light. So I think it's a pretty clear theme. I'm not sure if this message resonates with you, but that's kind of my... Um, interpretation from this reading for group number three my little cute little buddha so thank you so much for watching i hope this was a good video for you and just wish you have a beautiful beautiful year of 2023 and just kind of go get that so thank you for watching this video i think if you're group number three and this message resonates, I think by you watching this video is already a step forward that opening that light, opening up that soul, divine connection channel, all that good stuff. So thanks for watching. Peace and love. Subscribe if you feel the vibe. Bye for now.